Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to focus and learn and implement Bootstrap cards. Right? Cards have become a kind of a native standard now in modern web applications. We have uh, in material design, we have cards, we have uh, in materialized uh, CSS, we have cards, we have bootstrap cards. Right? So any good framework now comes with card. A lot of people think card is what is a card, right? What speciality does it have? Uh, so we'll cover all of that topic in today's episode. This is part 10 of Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. Make sure you check out the full tutorial playlist. The link is in the description box below. There are around 40 tutorials that I have planned for you. It's going to be an exciting journey. All right, so, so far we have covered grids. Uh, we have covered navbar in the last episode. And today we are going to cover about the Bootstrap card. All right, so these are the some of the card classes, uh, utility classes for card that are available in Bootstrap 5. Uh, so if you look at it, you have the outer wrapper, which is card. And then you have inside, you have the card body. Then you have the card title, you have subtitle, you have text, you have image, you have link. So these are all the utilities that are provided as part of the Bootstrap card component. Right. So let me show you a little bit of uh, using prototyping and then probably I can help you out with the code so anything that you see on your website right let's say if you if you if you see two sections three sections right so these are nothing but a uh, cards right these are bootstrap cards so this is an outer one is a card and then it would have a title or a head section right card will have a header right and card will have a footer right same way here so you can copy the same for others as well so you'll have card header you'll have card footer you get the point so cards can have header can have footer they are optional right and then they will have a title right main title and it can have a subtitle also right it can have an image, right? It can have data here, right? You can have, you can have heading, you can have here heading, you can have title, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right? So let me show you that in the code now. So let me go to Bootstrap documentation, open cards. Right? So cards are flexible way uh, where you contain content container, right? Which is nothing but where you place your content like this. I just explained to you. You have a card. You can have image. You can have a title. You can have some content you can have links you can have buttons right so let's copy that now so what i'm going to do and content can be any type right it can have image it can have um, any kind of thing that you want so here i'm going to just place an example in the div so for some of our friends who are joining us new on this episode i am going to do it new for you so that you don't miss out on any of the tutorials so i have created a blank page and first what you do is you go to the getting started page of documentation introduction this is the first page of docs right so when you click on docs you would see a starter template right just copy it paste it this has links to C cdn that is content delivery network this is css this is js file right and we don't need jquery anymore in bootstrap 5 because that's removed but you will have the same functionality only thing is jquery is not there so let's go ahead create a container class container fluid container spelling is wrong so make sure you to get that right okay so we have a container fluid now let's go here and search for cards and go here and let's design some cards for us so let's copy any any see the idea here is not to spend too much time in writing code the code, the components, they're all available. You should know how to use them. That is what you have to learn with me. All right, so let's remove this. Now let's see how this work looks in access action. So here, okay, let me go here and just take, um, so we have the cards revealing explorer and then open it in the browser. All righty, so it looks like this, right? So now, uh, since we don't have an image, right? So um, probably we can do a placeholder so our placeholder dot 
com hash 300 into 300 right so it's looking for placeholder it didn't get it um, so let me show you that it's a small good utility to place uh, images or something like that um, so we just have to put via yes so that's the one that we have to pull so here I'm just going to copy that so we'll get some uh, kind of you know uh, image it's good to always have some image to work okay so let's copy it here and that's it so now let's go to back to our application refresh so we get 150 by 150 card right so since I said 150 <coughs> so this way we can say 200 right um, you can have inst or, or I can say I want 100 into 200 so this is not what I want I want 200 by 100 right so we have it here and then or maybe we can have a slightly bigger one so I'll make it 300 right so 300 by 100 so let's say some image followed by some text and some links right now similarly if you see the more documentation you can have different different things like you can have a link right you can have card link that also we can add instead of a button right so here we can instead of a button here we can have a cloud link right so we can we can try all of that so so see so, so this is a card which you can customize um, you can set the background for it you can you can you can basically do anything and everything that we want right now see there is a list inside this particular card right so you can take a list ULLI list and then put it inside the card so now we have the card the title the data some content we have list we can put images we can put audio video so now let me give you an see if you see this is a card right so these are all cards anything that you see on a website is a card so this is a card basically right now this is with a grid right so you can use cards with grid so how do we use that we can put a div class equal to row and I'll create a row I'll create class equal to call four column three now I will copy it three more times now I have 12 column grid and then I'm going to copy this card right I'll just make sure that it's the correct one uh, okay so now let's copy this and paste it in each of the grid right so now see I will have a grid which has uh, four boxes each is a card right now see right so this is this is how we can create cards the cards can be of any size it can be a big small right um, examples that you can see are a lot of examples you can go to any website you can see anything is a card right uh, let me show you an example of how it looks so GCP um, so I'm just giving an example that how you can uh, how the real-time uh, cards look like so see this is a card right you see here um, this is one card this is one card this is one card so these are all different cards which are arranged right now you can have this layout which has six cards right so there can be any so these are all cards that you can arrange in any way that you want right if you see here uh, these these are the cards which are available for displaying data right I'm sure in admin dashboard you would have seen multiple cards right so like this there can be any number of cards that you want to arrange um, in your um, in your application right so now let me also show you bootstrap dashboard right so if you see these are all cards now see this is one card target sales is one card income report is one card so these are all cards individual blocks that you see right if you see little complex one these are all cards again right how you want to arrange them how you want to display them is totally up to your uh, requirement so if you see here one two three four these are four blocks it doesn't have images right so you can have some blocks which doesn't have image that's also fine like see this card doesn't have image that's fine this card doesn't have links that's fine so it's basically your card your data right so put whatever content you want whatever you don't want remove it right the idea is to make a template like this 
right we will do that as and when we progress in the series i will show you how to design this template using all the bootstrap things that we will learn for now today i want you to learn practice bootstrap cards and in the next episode we will see how to use bootstrap lists as we progress along in the series we will learn how to use all of them together to make beautiful templates i look forward for those exercises soon with you i hope you are liking the series if you do please hit the like button don't forget to like share comment and above all please keep supporting me by subscribing to my channel and sending your love thank you so much see you in the next episode